Welcome to Bali. We have just flown in from Vietnam, a short four hour flight, and we are here now in Ubud. Woke up to this absolutely stunningly beautiful place. It is amazing. So over the next few days, we're going to show you around Bali, starting off with here in Ubud. So let's get into the video. So I'll show you around this resort we're staying at, but I just love the peaceful sounds. This is the basically all from the rice. How the way we cook is different style, yeah. This is mm -hmm. we call pumpkin rice. This is black sticky rice. This is white sticky rice. This one the green, uh, pink color uh, we call lak lak. Uh, the color from the dragon fruit. Mm. This is the green color from the pandan leaf. So we put coconut glitter on top and also caramel sugar. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Let's enjoy your breakfast. Thank you. Alex. Mm. Yeah. I'm trying some this. Mmm. Oh, it's nice. It's got coconut on it. Oh, yeah. It's like kind of savory and sweet. <laughs> it looks like a dragon fruit, but it's rice. Oh, yeah. That's really good. It tastes almost like a pancake. Okay, let me show you around this amazing bamboo cabin. There's an outside area here with chairs, the hammock goes up here boom it's awesome inside here nice bed that lights up let me turn that on actually there we go just looks kind of cool really nice interior decor everything is like really nicely done one of the nice parts about it is this outdoor shower outdoor bathroom it is really nice the hot water is good the pressure is good and it's just so nice to have like a little outdoor not completely outdoor but it kind of feels like you're in nature with these plants one of the best showers i've had in a while really nice place amazing view there's a river looking out of the jungle really big trees so nice so this place was about 70 dollars per night and comes with breakfast so nice and peaceful we wanted to stay somewhere nice for the first few nights but there are also plenty of lower priced options that are really nice too. From what I've seen, you can get a villa out in the rice fields for like $30 a night, something really comfortable. And then you can find hotels that are $100 plus, you know, up to $1,000 a night in Bali. And then on the other end, I think there's some hostels with bunk beds for like 10 to $15 or I don't know, even less maybe. So it seems like there's options for pretty much any kind of budget that you're on when you're coming to Bali. I will have, which one, do, or maybe try the size. That looks bigger. Let's see. <laughs> Does it fit? Yeah. Okay, nice. Okay, we've got here to Cinnamon Cafe. It's up here and there's also, I think a workshop they have across there and a shop. And we are now in Bali. How are you doing? Good. Good. We're in Bali, baby. Nice. <laughs> oh, this is some naughty mushrooms. Good COVID safety practices. Oh no. Wow, you're gonna be so hot. Oh, he's like, no. <laughs> okay, we're in the sacred monkey forest sanctuary now. And as you can see, there's monkeys jumping on people. I think I'll pass on that.
that's a big banyan tree there, which are usually hundreds or even thousands of years old. Oh man, skills. Oh cool. Do not look monkeys in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out, don't feed them snacks. Don't yeah, touch. So they're orchestrating selfie photos there with the monkey. So the monkey's like grabbing it. So it looks like it's taking a selfie of everyone. I think I just missed that there, but the monkeys just kind of jump on people and grab their bags and try and like steal stuff. I don't know, I think these people are playing with fire by doing that. These monkeys could go rogue at any second. Yeah, so I'd say overall, it's a really nice forest. If you want to see some monkeys, come here. Kind of touristy, a lot of people, but beautiful big trees. So far, Ubud has been exactly how I thought it would be, and it's awesome. There are lots of cool, healthy cafes and restaurants, beautiful forests. The driving is not too bad. I live in Vietnam, so I'm used to crazy driving. Actually, people don't drive that badly here. It's more that the roads are very small, so that's something to be aware of. I probably wouldn't recommend driving here if you aren't experienced. It's not the place to get on a bike for the first time, is what I mean. And now we're here at Pierre Cafe getting something to eat. Go and get the food shots. Oh yeah. Okay, now we're at the famous Bali Swing, which uh, I'm sure you've seen some Instagram pictures and videos of this. We're gonna do the swing.
you think of the sunset? It's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, it is sunset now and we found this really nice rice field. The sunset is happening right over there. It's so beautiful here. Just driving a little bike along this path here and the sunset is happening right there behind us. Absolutely awesome way to end of the first full day really in Ubud, Bali. And the swing was actually really fun. <laughs> I thought it was just an Instagram picture, you know, but actually they swing you out really hard and really far and it was a lot of fun. And so far, honestly, Ubud is pretty magical. I mean, it's great. I can see why people like it. There's a lot of people, there's tourists here, but it is absolutely beautiful. Everything, like, look at this all the cafes, restaurants, it's really nice. I mean, what can I say, it's, it's just beautiful. As we were driving through the rice fields here, it reminded me of Hoi An in Vietnam too. It's got a very similar feel with all the rice paddies and the palm trees. So honestly, an amazing day here, absolutely beautiful in Ubud. And the people are really friendly here. So far, it's been great. So. I'm going to wrap up this video for now. Got a few more days here in Ubud and then got some awesome adventures planned for the rest of this trip here in Bali. So I'll make some more videos. Stay tuned for those, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment below telling me what you think about Ubud and I'll speak to you soon in a new video. Peace.